Today's Yachts for Sale video blog comes from Northrop & Johnson's new offices in Monaco. From here we handle inquiries for yachts that are for sale and yachts that are for charter and it's an ideal location. We have a view that literally allows our brokers to keep an eye out on yachts as they arrive into the port. And I have to say it's also an excellent vantage point from which to watch the Grand Prix which is being set up for right now. Not all of the opportunities that cross our desk are in the form of yachts entering the port though. From time to time, yacht designers come to visit us in our offices to explain to us and present to us about projects that they have on the go in the hope that we will then tell our clients about those projects. Last week, Antonio Romano of Hot Lab came to see us and when I heard about one of his projects, I just had to tell you all about it. Project Ganymede is a 110 meter long super yacht designed in collaboration with Italian builder Finn Cantieri. Now according to Greek mythology, Ganymede was a shepherd boy so beautiful that Zeus spirited him away with an eagle to be his cupbearer in Mount Olympus. Eagles are a big part of this Greek myth and Hot Lab have honored this by taking the eagle's beak as inspiration for the bow of the yacht. A fact that this promotional video strongly hints at. Although the promotional material doesn't say this, I personally found this to be a very Mount Olympus-y superyacht with five decks cascading down to this very distinctive and highly unusual sea level transom featuring a shaded swimming pool. This entire area that's 20 meters long is conceived to be reminiscent of an Italian garden with a centrally located spiral staircase leading down to it from the main deck and a waterfall feature too. The owner of the yacht will have an entire apartment to himself as you would imagine on a yacht of this size and as prestigious as this. On his private deck there are two prism shaped pools and an entire helipad that can be converted for recreational use. The amount of work that goes into a project like this just can't be underestimated. These are not just drawings that come out of the imagination of the designer, they are a realizable project that is fruit of multiple meetings between Hot Lab as the designers and Fincantieri as builders. After a year of design work, the project is now fully engineered and Fincantieri can start to cut the steel the moment a contract is signed and a deposit paid. Hot Lab have also made some very distinctive proposals for the interior of this yacht. Although of course, this is such a personal aspect of any yacht that they will probably end up working with the final owner to accommodate his tastes and his wishes. With regards to the credentials of both designer and builder, I have to say that this is a winning combination. Yachts that bear Hot Lab's recognizable lines include Mondo Marine's 50 meter Ipanema, 68 meter Ice, currently in construction at AES Yachts and a 58 meter yacht in construction at the RMK shipyard. The latter, by the way, is listed for sale by my esteemed colleagues at Northrop & Johnson. Fincantieri, on the other hand, are no strangers to luxury super yachts. Apart from being one of the world's largest suppliers of cruise liners, they've also successfully built and delivered notable yachts such as the 133 meter yacht Serene, and the equally impressive 140 meter yacht, Ocean Victory. One of the things that impressed me the most about Ganymede is the professional approach that the design company took towards the project. Now, renderings and videos such as the ones that you've just seen are by no means cheap to produce. And yet, if a design company and a ship builder don't invest in those kinds of materials, it's highly unlikely that a buyer will ever be found. Added to that, a yacht the size of Ganymede takes years to build. So by pre-engineering and pre-designing so much of the project, a buyer can shave a considerable amount of time off of the total build period. Now, Hot Lab have already made their mark in a big way in the yachting industry, but I have to say they're actually a company of relatively young individuals, so I'm expecting them to continue to make waves in the yachting industry on the design side for many decades yet to come. And I'm sure that they'll be included in many, many more videos too. Actually, as the channel grows, I'm looking to include more interviews with designers and with yacht builders. And one of the most satisfying aspects of the growth of this channel has been the input that I've been getting from the viewer, from you. 
Uh, in particular, recently I was contacted by one viewer who's a professional translator from English to Russian. So I've been republishing some of my videos with Russian subtitles too. And for that, I want to give a big thank you to my viewer, Mikhail Butnikov. As we approach the summer, there'll be many, many more videos of all kinds, including walkthrough videos of yachts that are actually for sale. So make sure that you don't miss out on any of that great material by subscribing to my channel.